last night's full moon but if you did any spiritual work any ritual work any work on yourself you know in general whatever it is you're trying to manifest whatever you did it worked it works you got wish fulfillment here and welcome back to pure black magic emphasis on the pure the black and the magic if you're new here welcome my name is d thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel hopefully you find clarity through this message you like the vibe you like the energy and you decide to hit that subscribe button if you are returning super super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel you guys it is always greatly appreciated Collective message, all placements, all signs. I am interested to see what's going on with the energy as a collective after last night's full moon. Um, and we are approaching, if we're not in it, we're in the shadow period of Mercury uh, retrograde. So there's a lot going on. Um, and we got the Hierophant popping out here. And I kept seeing the Hierophant doing the pre-shuffle. So there is some sort of commitment, a contract, a mar marriage or relationship, or simply just a Taurus for some of you guys. Chariot card, nine of pentacles, two of pentacles, and nine of cups. There's something um, very solid that's approaching you guys. Again, it could just be a Taurus or a Cancer, but this is um, or a relationship. There's something between you and someone else here. Something is becoming official. Something is becoming more solid or exclusive. Wish fulfillment, something you've been wanting here, uh, possibly contemplating on the ideal of it. Then we have the three of wands at the bottom of the deck and a star card. Yeah, this is something you've been waiting for. The three of wands is waiting for your ships to come in. It's just waiting in general, um, having hope in a situation, still having faith in a situation with the star card. This is something you've been wanting that's coming in. So I don't know what you guys have been trying to manifest or what you put your intentions um in in regards to like last night's full moon but if you did any spiritual work any ritual work any work on yourself you know in general whatever it is you're trying to manifest whatever you did it worked it works you got wish fulfillment here okay so it works you got you really wanting this to come true with the star card energy or really wanting healing some of you guys wanted healing in a situation or a connection um or you're just wishing for something new whatever it is it could be related to a home dynamic or money a lot of you guys were trying to manifest some sort of stability um in your home or in your finances here in a family situation and it works y'all got the ten of pentacles right there look what's behind that you got the ace of cups you got the sun card and you got the, it worked. <laughs> and you got the world card. Whatever you did right after this world card, this happiness, this emotional fulfillment with the Ace of Cups, um, this new cycle that's entering here, you got the Knight of Cups here. Look at this, Knight of Cups energy. Um, heavily, it's a lot of water here. Um, but I'm feeling like just not necessarily water signs. This is just very emotional for you. So you could be feeling very emotional at this time. Maybe last night during the full moon um, or leading up into it, your emotions are heavily invested into what this is. And I feel like it's going to bring you tears of joy here. You got the Knight of Cups. What is this Knight of Cups bringing? It is bringing the Three of Cups here. So, so this is celebration. This is reconciliation. Um, some of you guys have been waiting for a while to reconcile with someone either make up with someone or i'm getting like there's been long distance a physical distance between you and someone else it could be friend family member um but there's a coming together someone you haven't seen for a long time or someone you haven't talked to in a long time for some of you guys but you got all of this good energy so the knight of cups with the three of cups and then you have the eight of wands this is possibly something um some of you guys really felt as if like you were still faithful and hopeful, but you, a part of you was still kind of feeling as if maybe you missed out or maybe something just wasn't for you, or maybe it just wasn't time. However, that's resonating for you, but you got the eight of wands. Look at this coming in here. This eight of wands energy. This is communication. If you've been waiting for it, this is something official. This is a yes. Okay. So whatever it is that's going on in your life right now, it's a yes. Everything down here is a yes. Um, something worked, something succeeded, something went through some sort of download was received or information here. Even after the eight of wands was coming towards you very quickly, right? The six of wands. Look at this. This is a victory right here this i'm not sure what you're doing leave me in the comment section below 
Um, but it feels like achievements or just something working. And I feel like either today or the upcoming days, whatever you've been trying to have manifest in your life, you're getting something tangible to let you know, some sort of proof to let you know that it works. Um, we do have the Seven of Swords and we have the Nine of Wands and we have the Nine of Swords and the Moon. Card. Wow. Okay. Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups. So all of this good energy here, there's deceptive energy or some sort of um, deceptive person here. It's like all of the luck is on your side because now all we have like just multiple cards back to back to back of like loss, um, of uncertainty, of worry, of defensiveness, of just low vibrational energy here. Two of Wands, someone not knowing what to do, where to go, full card. Um, so if you were waiting for justice in the favor, it feels like somebody was getting away with something for a certain amount of time. So um, if you've been wrong in a situation, if you've been lied on, lied to, whoever was getting away with whatever is no longer getting away with that. So justice is for sure being served. I'm not sure exactly how that's resonating for each of you because it's very general, but something is yours. Something is a victory. Something is a yes here. Like all this, so much love surrounding you. I feel like you're very supported at this time by your angels, your spirit guides, um, and it might even be, you know, people in your life, friends and family, but there's something about people who have been opposed to you. For some of you guys, it could have been a mother, father, or a child, or someone, um, you have children with. Okay. So the mother of your child or the father of your child, um, something here has done a complete turnaround. All right. So let's see. And it really feels like I'm getting the energy of someone who was getting away with something here with the seven of swords, someone who was getting away with like lies or deception either towards you or about you, or at least they thought they were getting away here. Nine of wands, somebody thought they were getting away here, um, but it was only a matter of time. Two plus two equals five and abort mission. Yeah, something wasn't adding up or something. Let's see, spirit. What else do we have? What's going on? Take advantage of this energy, you guys, because we are, again, approaching uh, Mercury retrograde and a lot of, you know, a lot of things tend to slow down. So embrace this happy energy, embrace this opportunity, say yes to whatever it is now so that you can have it locked in before the retrograde starts. Okay, so we have fire sign popping out here um, with good karma. So you could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius watching this. Uh, but there's some sort of good karma surrounding a fire sign. Ooh, and new boo. So somebody has um, a new relationship coming in and it could just be a new opportunity in general, but new boo and the time is now. Ooh, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, God's plan. Okay, I love me more is in the reverse. So this is the energy of you being open to giving and receiving, okay? So you didn't allow something to stop you here. You kept giving, you kept giving, or you kept being that um, that that nurturing, giving type of person here. And because of that, it's almost like you guys have passed the test. So I don't know if you feel as if you've been tested, um, if you've been having signs and synchronicities from the universe, or just really feeling as if some sort of forces were against you, but whatever it is, you guys have passed the test. I want to see what the, um, what does the energy deck have to say? Because we had a couple of cards yesterday and yesterday's reading from the energy deck. So let's see what the energy deck has to say for you guys. We got the garden and the gate showing up here. Anxiety. Okay. So something you've been waiting for, something you've been anxious about. I can't make this up. Anxiety. And then we have cornucopia. Something you've been worried about, it's like, I don't know if you, it's almost like you woke up this morning and everything is different, okay? It's almost like you woke up th this morning, you got the answer, you got the the okay, you got the final say-so, or something is just making you very happy here. There's some, the door to value, look at this. This is money, um, or some sort of, I keep getting opportunities, multiple opportunities, financial stability, okay, increase in income love it kind of feels like more than one part of your life all aspects of your life has turned around instantly or it will be very soon what else you are very attractive at this time very valuable at this time so it's like whatever you want you get it okay um a ma magician energy 
and the magician actually kept popping up heavily yesterday so a lot of you guys were working on manifesting something new we got the attachment card we got hostilities and we have patience and we also have the sixth chakra here a lot of you guys your intuition your psychic abilities um something about downloads or your dreams last night you could have had like very vivid or just um different a different type of dream last night as well but patience the door to value is here already you guys have been very patient in the situation something was trying you it could have been people um just going against you being very combative towards you very deceitful towards you um trying to keep you attached to them you guys broke some sort of attachment or you've been working on cord cutting here um, between you and someone else or you and multiple people or you and your old way of thinking or living or being something was was uh successful here i feel like some spell work has been done or just manifesting good juju you know good energy pure black magic on you guys is in to break your tie or attachment to something whatever it is it worked some of you guys were trying to break um some sort of attachment or dark energy dark magic that was sent towards you Okay, and you have been feeling it for a while and last night maybe you put in the work to like really put the intentions into the universe to release you from this. It worked. Whatever you did last night, it worked. Okay, and you know this intuitively. Behind that, we got the second chakra. We got the seventh chakra. Wow. Okay, so your crown, your creativity is open here. Walking away and walking into a bag, walking into some money. Whatever you guys did, it worked. Let's see what's going on with the wisdom oracle deck wisdom oracle deck spirit let's make sure we get all of these cards in the upright um so i see the tiktok card it's in the reverse here and i think that's the only card that's in the reverse so something about um time's up or the time is now it's like somebody else's time is up is what i'm feeling and your time is now however that resonates um or the patience that you've had it's like you're no longer having to wait something is coming through for you today an approval something a yes something was broken uh like some sort of attachment was broken all right spirit what do we have from the wisdom oracle deck time all right y'all i'm gonna just leave it here time to go so while you're on your way i feel like you're on your way to something or you finally broke free you finally broke the cord the energetic cord whatever this is the spell like you finally severed something here um you're in this energy a lot of you guys this is what you broke feeling orphan or feeling down and out or feeling depressed you broke there was some sort of um mm -mm, not for you all that glitters happy happy there was some sort of illusions over you or some sort of um ill intentions sent towards you a negative person negative attachment there was a storm over you and a lot of you guys last night i'm feeling heavy magic type of energy um those who do it for good and those who do it for bad and this reading is not for everybody but whoever was doing this to you whoever the seven of swords is for you could be an air sign or a fire sign you broke up out of that okay so i'm gonna leave it here don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time